What's up guys and gals, Aaron here from BikeBandit.com and I've got on two of one of the most popular gloves in the sport motorcycling world, the Alpine Stars GP Pro. The difference? One of them I grabbed from here at Bike Bandit, and the other I ordered off AliExpress for 60 bucks. Now while they may look like the exact same glove, I'll show you exactly why they aren't and what the real differences are by actually cutting up both of them on camera, so stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of... Who Thank You! Where we expose who's real and who's fake. On today's episode, we'll show you who's the real Alpine Stars GP Pro and who's just front. So get your gloves on, because it's going to be a fight. The Alpine Stars GP Pro is one of the hottest gloves in sport riding, and with good reason. With full grain cowhide and goatskin construction, a kangaroo palm, and hard armor and sliders throughout, this race gauntlet sees action in both MotoGP and World Superbike, and gives you the top of the line protection you need when you're riding on the street or track. But when you have a product this popular, you're bound to have people trying to knock it off too. So when we heard about some GP Pros for sale online for only 60 bucks, it caught our interest, especially because we heard so many people talking about how they could be the real thing, or close to it such as factory seconds, genuine gloves that failed quality control, or simply stolen merchandise. So we figured the only way we could know for sure was by ordering a pair and doing a side-by-side -side comparison with a genuine pair from our inventory so you could see what you're really getting. But hey, anyone can do a simple side-by-side -side comparison, so we're not going to stop there. In our quest to give you as much information as possible about the gear we sell, we're going to actually deconstruct both pairs of gloves to show you what you're really getting, both inside and out. That's right, we're going to chop up a $250 set of gloves on camera because we want you to see what you're actually paying for when you buy them. So with that said, let's jump right into it. To start things off, the white and red gloves are a pair of genuine Alpine Stars GP Pros we pulled out of our inventory, and the black gloves are a pair we ordered from AliExpress for $60. Just FYI, the black ones took three weeks to ship from China, which as far as I'm concerned is fail number one, just saying. But now, let's go ahead and compare them. When the gloves arrived, the black ones, the $60 pair, actually arrived in slightly nicer packaging, which was odd. The hang tags on each pair were identical in appearance, but the genuine one was in much better condition as you can see here. Now, moving over to the gloves, one very important thing that may not come through on camera but is apparent in person is that the black gloves are clearly not made of leather, but instead some kind of imitation leather. If you only had the black pair in front of you, you might be fooled, but when comparing them side by side to the genuine glove, the difference in materials is clear. These feel less substantial and are a little softer and stretchier than the white pair. In addition, they don't even smell like leather, while the white ones smell strongly of natural hides. Uh-uh, I'm obviously the real glove. I fit right, act right, and my stitches is tight. And something else, my leather is real. Unlike that nasty pleather she's got on, how dare you call me a fake? Oh, hell no. Who you calling pleather? Ain't nothing fake about me, girl. Everybody knows I'm the real deal. Use the fake. That is not what your man said. Now let's look at the stitching. Look at the palm of each glove side by side. When you look at the stitching in the fingers of each glove, the difference between these gloves becomes very obvious. The fingers of the white glove are straight and uniform, while the fingers in the black glove are crooked and warped. This is the single most obvious sign that these are not a genuine Alpine Stars product at all. But look closely at other parts of the stitching too. You can see that the stitches on the white glove overall are tighter and more perfectly aligned, while the stitches on the black glove look larger, more hastily done, and just aren't even straight. There are also several loose threads in the black gloves. Now in fairness, there were some loose threads in the white gloves too, but to a far lesser extent. Now let's check out the fit. And keep in mind, these are both brand new gloves, so there's been no chance for either one to get broken in. When I put the white glove on, it feels snug and anatomically correct, and the pre-curve in it feels the way it should. When I put the black glove on, however, the fit is immediately more awkward. There's a lot of room left in the fingertips, and the thumb area is particularly baggy. Uh, yes, excuse me, yes, okay, I have a question for the fake one, yes, okay. Who are you trying to be? No, really, who are you trying to be? You know you fake, okay? You know you fake. Excuse me? That page don't mean nothing. Who is you? You don't know me, girl? No way, I ain't no fake. Uh-uh, that's what I'm saying. Now let's look at the external hard armor in each glove. Side by side, you can see that the shapes of the armor on both gloves appears to be identical, but the look and feel of the material is actually different. The armor on the white gloves is denser and seems more shock absorbent, while the armor on the black gloves is more brittle and has a more plasticky feel to it. They also make a different sound when you tap on each one. Also note that while the molds are a close copy, they are not exact. 
You can see the difference here in the bridge on the center of the knuckle armor. Now let's look at the perforation and expansion panels. The white gloves have a more precise and uniform perforation pattern, while the holes in the black glove aren't as cleanly cut. In addition, there were a number of holes where the material wasn't completely punched out. Now taking a look at the expansion panels, you can see a clear difference here. While there are the same number of folds in each one, the panels are tight and uniform on the white ones, and looser and sloppier looking on the black ones. Now let's take a look at the logos and the paint. You can see here that the logos on each glove are virtually identical. There's no real notable differences here. But take a look at the paint underneath the clear injection molding on the wrist cuff of the black glove. You can see where some part of the manufacturing process actually damaged the paint in multiple places. Now we've shown you all the places the black knockoff gloves and the white genuine gloves differ on the outside of the glove, but that's only half the story. It's on the inside of these gloves where we'll see how these two gloves really differ. So let's get to the fun part and actually cut these things apart. The foam located in these impact areas, which is used to protect your hand if you crash, is completely different in each of the glove. On the knockoff, it looks like the kind of cheap foam you would find inside a packaging or shipping container, whereas the foam, the EPS foam on the Alpine Stars gloves, is a much denser and could definitely take a lot more of an impact. Okay, what we're looking at here is the palm of each glove. Now again, the palm of the knockoff glove is clearly not leather, but instead some kind of imitation leather, and you can really feel that when you have them apart. This is actual kangaroo hide on the Alpine Stars glove. The most notable difference between these two is that the complete lack of this Aramid or Kevlar fiber on the knockoff glove. They didn't even make an attempt to imitate that or put that in there because they know most likely you're not gonna see that. Whereas on here, the entire thumb is covered with that protective fabric. So what we're looking at here is the top of each glove. Now the first thing I want to show you is the foam that goes underneath each knuckle protector. On the knockoff glove, it's just a flat, cheap piece of foam. There's really not much to it. But on the Alpine Stars glove, the genuine one, you can see it's got these ribs here and it's a lot more molded to the contours of the knuckle. Now here's the interesting thing. When you flip under the knuckle protection itself, you can see really big differences in the construction. On the knockoff glove, it's just a really simple mold. There's not really much to it. But on the Alpine Stars glove, you can see there's these ribs to provide additional impact absorption. You would never see that unless you had completely taken these gloves apart like we did. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our test results are in. The test results, please. Tests reveal, with 99.9% .9 accuracy, the black glove is definitely not the real Alpine Stars glove. Oh, whatever, Aaron, your test is wrong. Y'all stupid. Y'all ain't seen the last thing. I may be fake, but I look good. Okay, honey. Whatever, girl. Bye. Bye. Move on with your life. No way. Uh -uh. No. I told you. No way. Now that we've gone through both of these gloves completely inside and out, here are my overall thoughts. First of all, I'm actually impressed with the amount of effort and attention and detail that went into making these knockoff gloves. At a glance, they look identical, and it actually took some people in our office several minutes to figure out which one was which. Most people would never know the difference, and if all you cared about was looks, you'd be perfectly happy paying $60 for these knockoffs. But here's the problem. What you're really paying for when you buy motorcycle gear is not just looks. You're paying for it to save your ass in a crash. And when you take into the account the fact that these knockoffs are fake leather, the stitching is inferior, and the armor is a totally different material, the idea of these things meeting the asphalt at 80 miles per hour suddenly seems like a really bad idea. For me, if there's anything that stood out the most while doing this comparison, it was that I came away with a genuine appreciation for the level of engineering and quality control that goes into making a pair of real Alpine Stars gloves. I know that $240 may seem like a lot to pay for a pair of gloves, but when you see firsthand the quality of the materials and the level of craftsmanship that goes into making a single pair of these gloves inside and out, it suddenly seems completely justified. So look, if all you're going to do in your gloves is show off at a bike night, these knockoffs will definitely do the trick for you. But if you want something that will actually protect you in a high-speed crash, the real thing is what you're going to want on your hands. No question about it. Ultimately, only you can decide how much protection you want to ride in, but make no mistake about it, 60 bucks is not going to get you a real pair of Alpine Stars GP Pros. These are definitely fake, so don't be fooled. The best is expensive, but it's worth it. Just ask anyone who's actually crashed a motorcycle in good quality gear and walked away. 
Well, that's all for today, folks. We really hope you enjoyed our video, and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and remember to check out bikebandit.com for great deals on all your motorcycle gear. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.